Yo, what up? It's Dulex, and I'm back with another episode in the Trailer Build series. Now, if you haven't been watching the previous episodes, then you wouldn't know that I built out this living room space that you can see behind me. But there's a few things that I want to tweak and change up on the other side of the room. Right at the entrance, there's nowhere to put your shoes. They just kind of end up getting piled up in the hallway. So I'm actually going to move over the TV cabinet so that I can have a space for the shoes over there. Then I realized that I don't really use the desk too much because I built a table that's right across from it so I ended up just using the table a lot more so I'm gonna take that out see if I can make a little bit more space and maybe even build a trash can cabinet so I'm gonna take you guys along the way today while I finally finish up the living room completely let's see what I come up with <laughs> wave my inner soul make a village glow you can see the rail through my inner scope real grows with a field coat get my spirit to the pin stroke young west broke in the rim is low sweet tang when I fall through when i hit the queen with the give and go i've been getting close i've been finna go i've been in a mold when my people's dilated take the beat and then annihilate it to the siren fading fuck a violation i've been going places it's no escaping high rob my waving chasing percy mills with no limitation carve a smile with a straight face therapeutic self-medicated i've been doing fine for the low life seeing clear through the low lights straight gas for the stove light chasing green all i know is to go they see my pro when it shows right third finger to my old life i can't lose count up the blue it's been nothing me boo put on for the crew it's a cool so while I was just taking everything apart and preparing for the paint, I realized that I might as well just rebuild the entire TV cabinet because there was a few things I was annoyed with anyway when I was doing it. I know most people won't just take this stuff apart and just start all over, but hey, this is me. So I'm starting with a blank slate over here. What I'm going to end up doing is put a new TV cabinet somewhere over here-ish. And then on this side is where the shoe rack and the entryway mat is going to go. And I'm going to actually build a trash can uh, cabinet thing over here because this is kind of unsightly. So at this point, I decided to paint this back wall because I have all the furniture cleared out of this area and I'm probably never going to have it like this again. So I called my sister over to help me paint this because I really suck at painting these RV walls. My mind is blowing, set the blow up from my white mold. Never forfeit much clutch, how the way I close it. Taking more than I can fold. Watch it close here. Who might pick up on a pro? If I got the torch, the they want my business to reside right by where they know it. Give my image some distortion. Yeah. So I didn't want to spend too much more money on this project since I am rebuilding this TV cabinet. So I went ahead to my local Home Depot and I just grabbed one sheet of three quarter inch plywood and I'm gonna to try to just build this whole thing out of that one sheet. Thank you. 
So the structure of this hidden TV cabinet is actually a lot more simple than you might think. There's just two compartments, one in the back that houses the TV itself and then one in the front that looks like a shelf. I mean, it basically is a shelf. So here I'm just building the carcass and then the front facing shelf that makes it look like a regular cabinet. Then you just install the lift into the back section and then boom, there you go, you have a hidden TV. So the carcass is pretty much done after I put this face frame on and a lot of people always ask me why I'm using nails but the nails are really just to hold everything still until the glue sets. The glue is re what really holds these face frames together and these aren't really structural anyway. So with everything put together I decided to do a new top for this as well and I decided to use teak for this just because I like how it looks and they had it at my lumber yard. So I had to glue all those pieces together to get that ready, get all that off screen, and you just see me basically putting it together at this point. That screw's gone forever. It works. It fucking works. Since I moved this whole TV over 
I have enough space to actually put like a mud rack here. Then the TV rack itself, didn't want it to be the way it was, so I just rebuilt the whole thing. I built this top row right here specifically just to hold my uh, sound bar because in the first TV build, it was kind of just like on the floor, just hanging out, out of the way. So I built it into the cabinet this time. And I also left spaces on both sides for the remotes. Speaking of the remote, this is how you control the TV lift is with this remote right here. You just hit it and it goes up. Then on the second row, I built this space in just to hold all of my old game systems. So I got my PS1, PS2, GameCube, Wii, and all that stuff. And then this slides over so you can see everything. And then down on the bottom shelf, I put in all of my uh, like a small collection of movies, games, books, stuff like that down on the bottom. And then over here, this is actually the garbage can cabinet. I didn't show myself building this because it's extremely simple. It's literally just a, a box with a piece of plywood and a hinge on the bottom. And I just put my garbage can inside of there so that you don't have to look at your garbage 24 seven. And the way that I built this, all of the wires for the TV are out of the way and they're not visible anywhere because I just ran one wire inside the wall that's going up to the ceiling. This is a false wall that I built in a previous video. But when I open this up, you can see that I have all my wires and stuff that connect to this TV in here. A lot of people were asking me why I didn't ventilate this cabinet. That's because while I'm using this, I just leave it open. When I'm not using it, then I close it up. Nothing's on while it's closed, so none of my stuff is gonna overheat. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end as usual. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed building all this stuff. Now that it's done, it looks super nice. It's making this trailer look almost completely finished because the last thing I have to do is the kitchen and then go around and do like little stuff like trim, window covers and stuff like that. So final tour video and final build video are coming out very soon. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next I didn't finish yet. I still need to do a window border on here and a roller shade just like how I have on the rest of these windows over here. So I still need to knock that out on the top. I didn't do these cabinet doors yet. I'm gonna end up doing three cabinet doors that lift up towards the ceiling, but I'm gonna do that when I do all of these cabinets over here, when I rebuild the kitchen in the next video. And there's still no top on this garbage can cabinet, but it's going to be the same top as this. I just ran out of wood, so I need to go back to the lumber yard uh, to finish that.